The export company didn't send me my documents, so I don't even know if I can register it yet. <laughs> Family road trip. Oh. Run! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the spot that I stand at the beginning of touring videos, I think. Uh, we're at Rude Boy's place, and it is the day before summer touring, which means Lots of the people from out of town and most of the really, really cool cars that are going to be at Summer Touring are already at Rude Boy's property. So it's a different vibe today because there's less people, it's much more mellow, and nobody's rushing to get anything done for the event that starts tomorrow night. I'm sure tomorrow's going to be a totally different vibe, but uh, for now, it's just really nice to see a bunch of our friends from out of town. Nice shot! This is Cameron from London, England, and he's made it all the way out here to Canada for summer touring today. What are you hoping to see tonight? What people are producing across the border. Because cool. obviously LA has its own miniature Kaido racer scene where a lot of it's like uh, Fukuoka and Hokkaido spec stuff. Right. Um, and then up here, people are getting a lot more experimental. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we've got obviously the golf cart car and stuff like that. It's cool to see something a bit different. Right. right. Yeah, this is yeah. my first time seeing a lot of these cars. I mean, Skip's car, I knew. The orange car, obviously, was at Non Story 2. Right. But I've never seen Keith's car, even yeah, yeah. though, you know, we've known each other so long. Like, um, but seeing so many XXs in one yeah. place is crazy because we totally. have, like, none. Oh, cool. So, especially both faces. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everything here is just so sick already. And Sweet. we've still got people to come. So. Yeah, no doubt there's still a lot of people coming. Excited. So. Why is your front end so long? Because, uh, you know, I just made it that way. That's just how they do it, you know? It's for keeping it cool. What are you What are you hoping to see at Summer Touring tonight? I'm um, hoping to see some really bitchin' rides and some fucking. I'm excited for what the Cowboys have. Fucking a lot of cool cars this year. Yeah, cool this cars. is, every year it just keeps getting, well, not even every year, every six months, it just keeps getting a little better. Well, no, the car looks really good. I'm excited Thanks. to see it one color eventually, but it looks excellent right now. Ride height's awesome. It makes a great noise, lots of cool parts, and yeah, the, the long nose looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. It's Brian, and we love him. So, www.kaidoracer.com is a fantastic website for you to learn about this style of car culture and get an understanding of all the terminology and all the different things. And Brian here is the man behind that website. So, Brian, what do you want to see at Summer Touring tonight? Uh, I'm already starting to see it, but I'm seeing a lot more finished cars, a lot more people here, a lot more enthusiastic people. Yeah. Um, We've got way more cars than just even last year, even New Year's touring. So I'm just excited to see everybody show up. Um, just everyone having fun. That's all that matters. You know, I, I, I hope that everyone has fun and that they enjoy the cars. But more than anything, that they're being respectful to the culture where these cars came from and having an understanding, a good understanding, again, that this isn't ours. And, you know, even though these are our cars, this is our interpretation of Kaido racers that were built in Japan and just being respectful of that. That's Ooh. really all. What are you most excited about? What are you hoping to see? I mean, like more of this. Yeah. So far, so good. Like, the driveway looks crazy already. Yeah, it's wild um, that we're probably seeing most of the cars right now. Yeah, like, I mean, this car is here. Yeah. This is like a, a milestone having this car out of California. No kidding. So it's it's really sick that John chose our event to bring this to out of first of anything. Yeah. Yeah. Which is which is crazy. I mean, you can see already that there's like so many new builds for this year that are like so much better than previous years. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, 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 don't,
Eggs. Eggs. The special request by the Cowboys. We got eggs and pepper. Pop the hood. How you like your eggs? Pop the hood. I have an egg with no pepper, man. That much, man. Oh, that, that, that. Oh, that, that, that. Good, bro. That's it. That ain't million gun work, man. A card. We were doing 
great on the way over. It wasn't overheating, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> oh, really? Every year, man. Every year. <laughs> Uh, this is awesome, man. This is like probably the best drive that I've ever been on, and uh, the Supra's been fantastic. It drove so well. Um, there's so many people, so many new cars. I can die now. <laughs> like, it's all downhill. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> my mind is blown. Uh, it's a little overwhelming, but very, very excited that my car hasn't broken down yet. So we're doing Sick. good. Far, it's not going to. We're making yeah, it home. Manifest so. good things. Always, always. Hell yeah. Look at this big sandwich consumer. What up, <laughs> Eat big dirty every day. I'm happy. I'm Even happy. Well. I'm happy. Ah! Uh, yeah, I'm stoked. Fucking car turned out pretty mint. I think it's going great. I mean, we have so many more cars here than last year. Uh, people are very good at fitting the criteria. Uh, I think the quality is a bit subpar. The quality is great. Like, everybody fucking grinded for that. Can I say fucking? Yeah, you say whatever you want. Okay, I'm stoked. Honestly, I didn't think our car was gonna be ready. We were like pissing out brake fluid today. Like up until the moment we left, when you stomped on the brake pedal, fluid just came squirting out. Dude, sick. And we haven't lost any so far. Fuck yeah. Because we duct taped it. So. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really good. Um, yeah, looking at this parking lot right now compared to last time, there's not much stuff that shouldn't be here. I feel like last touring there was like 50-50 cool cars and like cars that don't belong here. And right now. Looks good. I'm happy. Dude, the Fantasy Works car? Dude, it turned out so good. So good. Oso's car is great. Oh no. You're <laughs> white.
boy is how I'm watching Family Guy funny moments. Anytime I fucking want it. Anytime. All right, so can I start now? Yeah. Fuck that shit. We'll start when I want to start. <laughs> okay, we'll start now. <laughs> it's fucking great. So amazing. Just here in Canada. Best car races right here. We brought one from LA. Hopefully we bring more. Yeah, maybe next year. We'll have a special car. than the sun Yeah, the bonny boat was one as we sail into the mystic Oh, I can now hear the sailors cry Smell the sea and feel the sky let your soul and spirit fly into the mystic And where that foghorn blows I will be coming home mm. um, Yeah, I guess summer touring is a wrap for 2023. That was an amazing event. I'm so glad to have been there after missing New Year's touring and being in Japan. Uh, amazing like turnout of cars I can't believe how many cars there were how many like actual completed builds there were um, yeah it's exciting to see that each time we go to one of these touring events just more and more people are picking up this culture and actually running with it and learning about it and building these exciting cars and uh, even when we did the the public part of the event it was cool to see that like there were so many people that came out even though we delayed it it was like 11 p.m. and uh, we were so late there's a huge community of people that were just excited to see these cars on the street that were uh, waiting for us as they as we pulled up. So, yeah, if you were uh, part of summer touring this year, thank you so much. And uh, if you're from out of town and you weren't able to be here, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit like and uh, leave a comment. We really do appreciate all the positive comments that we receive on these videos. And uh, do yourself a favor and go to KaidoRacer.com and learn a little bit more about this culture. Tell me a little bit about why you made KaidoRacer.com and what you're hoping that website accomplishes. I felt like Kaido Racer is like, I couldn't sell a magazine or like make a magazine. It'd make more sense as a website. It needs to be free public information for everybody to access because there's too much misinformation out there right now. So the first thing was I need to make a website and hopefully get all the help from my friends. And like, if anybody else is watching this that feels like they contribute at all, like hit me up in the emails. Like I'd love to have more contributors for it. Um, but I felt like if we get more information out there, it's like a couple steps ahead of like nothing. So you can get started, you can learn a little bit more before you like fully dive in and, and jump into Kaido Racers. Yeah. Totally. And it's not to be like a gatekeeper or to be like an elitist of any means. It's just lots of people call this stuff the wrong stuff and lots of people build these things really, really wrong. And if, so if you are 
interested in this culture and you want to build one of these cars and you don't want to make all of the bonehead beginner mistakes, going to KaidoRacer.com is probably going to save you a bunch of time and give you kind of, you know, like two or three steps ahead yeah. as your like, starting spot. Uh, I, I first got into it maybe 10 years ago and like back then, like I was doing some cringy stuff too. Like I fully didn't know and like I dove down and started looking up stuff in Japanese and then having friends here teach me stuff and like it slowly is built up to that. So it takes time, but hopefully this will get you a good starting point to to skip all the mistakes that we've made in the past. Yeah. Well, Brian, thank you so much for that website, though. I yeah, mean, for sure. Like, from myself, I've learned tons, and I know so many people just in this 100 feet around me have yeah. learned tons from it as well. And, and it's, I'm still learning, too. Like, yeah. I don't know everything oh, to get sure. that out there, but, like, I'm always learning new things, but I always want to make sure that information is spread out. Yeah. And I think that's actually a great point. It's, like, sometimes people will see somebody that has a brand or has a website or even just sees, like, me on a camera or Dylan filming and they think like oh these guys know it all or have all the answers we don't <laughs> like we do not at all we're still learning too we know a lot but we don't know everything yeah and uh yeah it's just it's just part of growing part of growing like yeah make you can make mistakes and learn from them just don't be afraid when somebody calls you out on it because yeah. that's just part of becoming better at something cool. why did you go from London to Los Angeles then up to here uh that's a long story um a few years ago, maybe five, six years ago, um, I think I saw a Moonlight Runners post just come up because there was a few hashtags I was following. I didn't really understand at the time, so I was following like Bozozoku and stuff like that. Right. And I think someone reshared their stuff with that and then I saw their stuff. So I started watching them and then I started inboxing them, like asking questions in their stories. And eventually it became like a natural dialogue. So. After talking for a few years, I saw the first Nonsuri. I couldn't make it out for that, but I was like, right, I have to be there for the next one. Right. And I flew out for the next year, and I was with them, kind of prepping all the cars, helping run the event. Um, and after that, it kind of just solidified the friendship. And um, it's gotten to the point where now I'm in my third year of knowing them in person. I decided to fly out for this one, because again, I can't go to Nonsuri. Right. Um, just watching the checkpoint videos, seeing what was happening up in Canada as an extension from like yeah, yeah, the yeah. LA introduction to the Canada scene. Um, yeah, I just, I had to be here. Sweet. So I couldn't miss it. Uh, this is Mason and Connor from After Hours and behind me is their Mazda that they've built. And I'm just gonna get them to uh, tell us a little bit about the car as well as about what After Hours is. Yeah, 1985 GLC Kado Racer that we've built just for summer touring. It's just our original the, style for it. Yeah, there was no real inspiration, honestly. It's just kind of like our ideas. Color's original. The green is like a 3M green envy wrap color. And then the pink is a bubblegum pink by 3M. I did like the whole livery design. This was our original rendition of the car. Yeah, we made that back in like January as like the starting vision. Yeah, I built everything. Like the uh, front splitter, hood, the hood the flares. Thingies. <laughs> but yeah, I built all that with a little bit of help, and uh, it turned out pretty good for my first ever time whipping it together. After Hours is just basically a lifestyle brand that I created. We make clothing. It's like a fashion focus sort of bridge between cars and art and like music it's all a bunch of things it, it's basically pursuing your like hobbies you know after hours i would say and then yeah it's basically a lifestyle brand but we focus on fashion no suspension obviously we hockey pucks <laughs> we, we did like a build video on more skids of it and then the wheels are ssr formula mesh in 13 by 9 negative one no spacers, they like actually fit the car perfectly. Obviously we connected onto the roof too, but all of the checkers and everything go through just to carry the livery design. Turned out really good. And then the Mystify light looks cool. We've got like lights underneath. Uh, yeah, Austin made it. Oh, one of those duck, pies. duck house, wood pies, shouts out. Oh, we also have a musical horde too. Really? We haven't, yeah, hold up. <laughs> It's not very loud right now, but it's still pretty loud. sounds good. You can hear it. We have like a product line on After Hours of uh, Mystify products. We do like a few different things, but yeah, yeah. Cool. it's just too much to talk about. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is John from Moonlight Runners based out of Southern California. 
And uh, he was here at Summer Touring last year just to see how it went and uh, get an overall vibe for it. But this year, he's actually brought up his Budame, which is essentially the face of the Moonlight Runners brand. Probably one of the most recognized, actually not one of, probably the most recognizable Kaido racer built in North America. And uh, it's super exciting to see it here in Canada. Um, yeah, John, tell us a little bit about Moonlight Runners, a little bit about the car, and maybe just about kind of the journey getting it up here, awesome. and uh, yeah. what you hope to see tonight at Summer Touring. Sweet. Um, so, this car and this journey began in 2013 for us. It was me and my wife uh, working out of a one-car garage, basically. And uh, we had zero skill, but 100% enthusiasm. We knew we wanted to build a Kaido racer, but we just didn't know how we were going to get from A to Z. So what we did is we started pretty much just building, uh, putting things together, slapping Bondo on the car, and like the wing itself is all handmade. Um, it's fiberglass, foam, and Bondo. Not the ideal way to do it, but yeah, it's uh, how we could do it at the time. The flares are uh, works flares that we make ourselves. We made the uh, sidestep, it's a square tubing all the way across uh, with fiberglass uh, pasted on top. Um, it's a one and a half inch exhaust, 10 feet back. Um, let's see, uh, the paint we did, it's a true candy. So it's three coats of that purple on top of the silver and the silver itself is also a fine metallic that we mixed. Um, this car has had about four different iterations. This is the final one so far, and this was completed in 2018. And um, yeah, my wife, this is her car. This is her baby. Um, and again, since 2013 till now, we've just been pushing, grinding as much as we can. Um, early in the years, we just didn't know, well, we didn't understand why there weren't no full Chibodagi style builds outside of Japan. So pretty much we just said, yeah, we're gonna do it, and we did. Uh, in the beginning, there was a lot of opposition. There were a lot of people that weren't giving us uh, pretty much um, any pointers. Anyone that did know even an inkling of what this was, they weren't sharing that information with us. So it was very difficult in the beginning. And um, the thing about that though is, when someone tells me I can't do something, that just motivates me even more. And luckily for me, I have a wonderful wife who also has the same tenacity. So as soon as anyone is like, oh no, that's not gonna look good, or oh, you can't do that, guess what? We're gonna show you that we can. And so that's, this is the byproduct of that mentality. Um, and like I said, one car garage, we have uh, friends that have come, put hands on it, sanding, and helping us out as well. We have a really solid team back in SoCal that, you know, I love those guys. Um, they, they are our support, you know, when it comes to the business or building cars, anything like that. You know, we really rely on them a lot and uh, we'll do anything for them and I feel that's vice versa. When it comes to coming up to uh, summer touring, uh, Reed and Keith, love them. Um, we support them 110%. I've known Reed for years. Met Keith before I even know who, knew who Keith was, you know, <laughs> which was funny. This, you know, coming here last year, I knew it was a big deal for them, for, you know, me to be here, and I'm sure they would love Astra to be here as well. But um, this year, you know, we had to bring the car out, and I feel like this event is something unique. It's very cool. Um, no one else is doing that besides us in SoCal when we throw our non sodi events. But besides that, no one else is trying to help bring this community together. So seeing this, we have to be a part of it. We want to meet the people. We want to talk to everyone, talk to the builders. And we want to understand exactly where everyone else is getting their inspiration. Um, I feel like Kata Racers also can be sometimes like... Uh, misjudged in a sense of thinking they have to look goofy, they have to look wacky. That's not the case. You know, everything is premeditated, everything is planned. You need to understand the subgenres, each subgenre, to be able to mix a style. And I feel like as Americans or Canadians, a lot of times we miss that because we're trying to mix the styles without understanding what these styles are. So that's where we miss it. So, um, so with this car being here, I'm hoping it inspires some people. I hope that. Uh, they're able to look at it, take something away, um, and I hope that you know they ask us questions and that you know we're always willing to answer and we're always willing to help and in any way we can. You know we're here to support.